The first-person shooter genre has never suffered from a shortage of titles, but of all the many FPS games that have been created, only a few have ever risen to the level of classic status. Here are first-person shooters you have to play before you die. Doom if you call yourself a shooter player, you owe it to yourself to know Doom, created by id Software, the developer that started the FPS genre with Wolfenstein 3D. Doom's multiple difficulty levels, broad variety of weapons, and amazing graphics turned it into a sensation. It remains one of the single most influential games of any kind ever made, and even though it launched in 1993, it holds up surprisingly well for modern audiences. Even the modern sequels barely have to change the classic formula. Half-Life in 1998, Valve Software launched Half-Life, a game that redefined the first-person shooter genre. Combined with fantastic graphics, tight gunplay, and innovative level design, Half-Life was a groundbreaking success. That's a tough act for anyone to follow, and it took Valve another six years before they released the sequel, Half-Life 2. We've been rather busy in your absence, Mr. Freeman. With the most lifelike character animations and lip-syncing ever seen in a game, Half-Life 2 was the best-looking title on the marketplace when it released in 2004. Meanwhile, its physics engine was light years ahead of the competition, and allowed Valve to produce some of the most intricate physics-based puzzles in the medium's history. Combined, the two games are some of the best artistic achievements the FPS genre has ever produced. Counter-Strike Counter-Strike was a 1999 mod that turned Half-Life into a terrorism-themed multiplayer experience. The new and improved game was so good that Valve bought it off the original modder, and has since continued to revise and expand on the product. Currently, Counter-Strike Global Offensive is one of the world's biggest games as a service, with a steady stream of new weapons, maps, and features coming to players at no additional expense. In a sea of competitors and after over 15 years in existence, Counter-Strike still stands as a classic. Halo 2001's Halo Combat Evolved brought the FPS genre from PC to console gaming when it took full advantage of the Xbox console's dual analog sticks to allow for fluid movement and shooting. Its pitch-perfect balance of primary weapon, grenade, and melee attacks made every encounter exciting to the last shot, but the multiplayer is where Halo truly stood out. The first game provided endless split-screen fun with friends, and even though future sequels would improve on the basic model, the original is still a stone-cold classic. Battlefield there had been other shooters set during large-scale wars, but no game before 2002's Battlefield 1942 came close to making you feel like you were part of a truly massive conflict. Unlike a lot of other shooters, Battlefield has always had an intense focus on objective-based gameplay. Since winning the game is based on capturing key points on the map, even gamers with slow aim could contribute to the team's win. Call of Duty for years now, Call of Duty has been one of the biggest franchises in all of gaming. The blend of fast-paced action, persistent unlocks and rewards, and spectacle-laden campaigns have made it into a must-play phenomenon. Series standout Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare remains an all-time classic, both for its blockbuster campaign and its genre-redefining multiplayer experience. But almost all of the games are great. If you haven't checked one out yet, you owe it to yourself to give it a try. The Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay Movie tie-in games don't have a great track record. They're often slapdash affairs made on a tight schedule and budget. Despite all that, 2004's The Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay ended up being an exquisitely crafted collection of open levels that blended intense action with intense stealth sections. Additionally, the game features a design element that cuts against the standard tropes of the genre. At multiple points, Riddick will be captured, and all the items and weapons the player has collected will be taken, forcing the player to start from scratch once again. Altogether, it's a hidden gem in the halls of FPS history. Hmm, nice try. I do what I can. Bioshock 2007's Bioshock became a sensation by featuring one of the most fully realized game worlds ever, combined with a thought-provoking story and some of the most memorable enemies ever. Most FPS games don't even attempt the philosophical heights of Bioshock, and for that reason alone, you should check it out. Titanfall what sets Titanfall apart from other shooters is its commitment to mobility. This is not a game where you run at surface level, rather you rocket across walls, over chasms, and high into the air. Death can come from all directions. If that doesn't provide enough variety, you can always call in a titular Titan as a walking tank to drive. The thrill of changing between fast and vulnerable as a shooter, or big and slow as a Titan, makes Titanfall a Titan among its rivals. Overwatch 
Drenched in bright colors and infused with an optimistic tone, Overwatch wanted to present an uplifting worldview with a diverse cast from around the world. With each character unique in gameplay and history, the game wasn't quite like anything else on the market. An enormous and active player base, a thrilling esports scene, and an ever-expanding cast of colorful characters, there's really no good reason for a shooter fan not to try Overwatch. Alright, playtime's over. Get to cover! 